Now the surgeon will prepare for the wet lab FACO procedure. The realistic single-use cataracts come in three different cataract densities, soft, medium, and hard. They are contained within an artificial anterior and posterior capsule film. The cataracts are packaged in a resealable foil pack, which is refrigerated upon receipt. They will last in the refrigerator for about six to eight months. The cataracts are placed in the reusable scleral shell and a wet lab cornea is mounted on top. The cornea has red markings for the main and side port incisions and can be used several times before replacement. Wound Incisions Make your initial incision with any size keratome. Now make your paracentesis incisions. This will allow access for your second hand instrument. Kataro offers several variations of manipulators and choppers. Viscoelastic Fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. Now that the eye is prepared, capsulorexis. The surgeon will now make the capsulorexis. You will have a choice of making the initial flap with a provided cystotome, or in this particular case, you may choose to use the Kataro capsulorexis forcep to make the initial flap and then continue on with the remainder of the all-important surgical technique. The Kataro anterior capsule film provides a realistic feel of the human capsular bag. Hydro dissection. After a successful capsulorexis, you will then need to perform hydrodissection with the provided hydro needle. To verify a successful hydrodissection, rotate the nucleus before moving on to phacoemulsification. Phacoemulsification, anterior cortex removal. Once in the eye with the phaco handpiece, the surgeon makes a few passes with the phaco tip to remove or initiate the debulking of the anterior cortex. Once the anterior cortex is removed, you can begin to make your grooves with the Kataro manipulator chopper to begin to divide or chop the nucleus. The Kataro offers artificial cataracts in three different densities, soft, medium, and hard. This will allow you to practice different techniques ranging from the divide and conquer, phaco chop, and stop and chop techniques. Once the nucleus is completely removed, you can move on to the removal of the epinucleus. With the Kataro system, you can use an IA handpiece only when practicing with a soft nucleus. When using a medium or hard nucleus, continue to use your FACO handpiece. Note how the epinucleus peels off from the posterior capsule. Another realistic feel for the surgeon with a Kataro system. Once the epinucleus has been completely removed, you are ready for IOL implantation.